we have a new film that you are just going to love. It's called Splash, and it stars Tom Hanks, who falls in love with a fish. <laughs> with, now listen, one of the funniest lines. This is a delay. Hello. No, I'm here. Hello. Yes, yes, go, go, go. One of the funniest lines in the entire movie is when you say, I'm paraphrasing you, Tom, but you say something about all my life I've wanted to fall in love with the right girl, and I fall in love with a fish. Yeah. Those are the kinds of lines that you will s that are sprinkled all throughout this movie. A lot of little one-liners that are hysterical in addition to the very sensitive, beautiful little film that you have. In seeing it last night, Tom, I can listen to you all day long. <laughs> That's uh, We've only just what begun. What a wonderful encapsulated summary of uh, what this film is about. Do you know do you know that the critics critics applauded the film last night? That's oh, that's that's high praise. It yeah. is. Oh, that is actually. It is that's because that's they sit there with a all right, show me attitude, and for them to burst into spontaneous applause, I think you. It was not spontaneous. Oh, we <laughs> sprinkled negative ions into the theater <laughs> where they were there, so it produced a chemical reaction in their bodies that made them do that. Did you have a clack? Was there a clack in the audience? Last a clack? Time? Yes. <laughs> a clack? A cla you know what a clack is? No. A clack is when you pay people to sit in the audience to start the applause. Okay, going. I personally did not. Brian Grazer, the yes. producer, he might have. I'm he's, not sure. He's thorough. John Candy, Eugene Levy, I bet the Schmingy brothers did yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, but Daryl and I and Ron, I don't think we did. I know. Well, I, I didn't. Tom. How do you kiss underwater without bubbles coming out of your nose and mouth? Well, this, that was not the first time I had kissed underwater. It was the first time uh, professionally, uh, but, uh, you know, various uh, summer camps and, and vacations I had, had, had done that on occasion. But uh, it's, it's uh, much like uh, uh, doing it on the surface, except uh, you hold your breath both before and after and <laughs> <laughs> for a lot longer period of time. And you keep your eyes closed, too. You d underwater, you keep your eyes closed? When you kiss, sure. Who wants to, you know, ever try to kiss somebody with their eyes open? <laughs> it's, uh, like, impossible. It's not impossible. Well, I it's mean, uncomfortable. I mean, you get this big eye right there. Ah, oh, what are you doing? You scared <laughs> Don't you want to see who you're kissing? Uh, I know who I was kissing down there. I wasn't grabbing a safety diver. I knew it was Daryl. That's true, because there aren't too many mermaids. This is, there's only one in this picture. Right. <laughs> How long can you hold your breath? Uh, I developed quite a lung capacity in the course of, uh, of making the movie, all the underwater stuff that we were doing. I could, I could do it for a while, a little bit better now, because mm -hmm. I've been running. <laughs> he plays a scene with John, well, he plays many scenes with John Candy, who is a scream, but one of which is a scene where they play racquetball. You looked <laughs> pretty good. I'm a racquetball aficionado. Oh, really? I'm, I'm serious. And I look pretty good? Listen. Uh, fake you out. L no, I come on now. No, I never play racquetball. Did you play tennis? No. Oh, come on. No. I can't believe that. I haven't played tennis in years and years and years. But you had, you had a good serve. You had some good hits. No, you know like what? It's next to John Candy in that scene. Oh. Uh, anybody could have looked fabulous. Uh, this crew or the staff here would have looked <laughs> like good racquetball players if uh, <laughs> next to John. I mean, <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the red suit. He's smoking a cigarette and having a beer. <laughs> sitting on the ice chest saying, how long have we been playing? I mean, you know, I, anybody could look good next to that. Anybody, uh, including the kid here. You're a very funny person. Do you think humor sometimes is a way to keep a distance with people? Oh, it's sure. Safety valve, you bet. It's a, it's a, it's a, a protection device that, that I've used all my life. <laughs> 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 over and over again. Because uh, if not, you, you can't have as smart a mouth as I do without being funny at the same time. I was going to get beat up a lot. So uh, I learned a long time that if you make them laugh, you'll, you'll get home on the bus. Well, when did you first you <laughs> there's, some, there's some wisdom in there somewhere. I don't know. What when did you first develop it? I mean, on the bus with the older No, boys? I stole it all from my brother, actually, my older brother. Older brother uh, as a matter of fact, my family will tell you that, that Tom's okay. Tom's, Tom's good. Tom's, Tom's funny, but he's no Larry. My, oh, my older brother, Larry, is, is the one in the family that, that destroys all of us. Does he use all his humor on his bugs? Yes, he's an entomologist, uh, but, he's, but he's a Ph.D. candidate at the University of Maryland, but he's the funniest Ph.D. candidate <laughs> at the University of Maryland you ever come Isn't across. Isn't it amazing the things you learn to deal with in terms of your family? I had a brother who used a yo-yo and was really good with a yo-yo and would terrify me and terrorize me with that yo-yo. Mm -hmm. So I learned to play the yo-yo out of defense. And what's he doing now? He is a yo-yo. Well, see, there you go. And, and, you're, and you're on TV, so... There you go. Justice prevails, as far as I'm concerned. My brother used to chase me around with a rake. Uh, 
With which end? The bad end. <laughs> what would he do? Well, oh, he'd, he'd, well, he'd just chase me around with it. For some reason, I'd be, he'd, he'd yell, rake, rake, and I'd run, <laughs> run away from him, <laughs> laughing all the time. I don't know why. I don't know why he did that. Well, did he ever catch you? I mean, what, oh, what? never. Never once. You were he, fast. Well, just uh, faster than the rake. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just liked the look of me being followed by a killer rake, you know, so that's... that's did, did you get this role, Tom, because of your relationship with Ron Howard? Incidentally, Ron is the director. Ron Howard's the director. I didn't know Ron Howard from, you know, from Adam when I, well, I certainly knew who yeah. Ron Howard was, but I had never met him. I actually uh, did an episode of Happy Days long after Ron had left, mm -hmm. where I came under the scrutiny of Lowell, Bob, uh, Lowell Gans and Babalu Mandel, who were the writers of the script, uh, along with Bruce J. Friedman. And, uh, they, uh, they said, hey, look at this guy we got here on the show. We should take a look at him. And I, I came in and met with, uh, with Ron and Brian Grazer, the producer. And eventually they said, Daryl Hannah, Tom Hanks, they're our, they're our choices. Delightful. It's, it's a that. delightful film. Have you seen Terms of Endearment? No. When you see Terms of Endearment, will you see it? Oh, certainly, yes. It's the first film ever shot in Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska. A fine so town. Tom I had a great breakfast in Lincoln, Nebraska. He even saw our Capitol building, and That's he knows right. that the Corn Huskers Home of the Corn Huskers. All right. First film we ever shot in Lincoln, Nebraska, was Terms of Endearment. So we have established a film commitment uh, commission. So you can come to Lincoln, Nebraska, and shoot your next film on your Free own. Free of charge. <laughs> well, <laughs> there'll be a dollar and a quarter charge. A little story about... No. Okay, great. You have to read that right now, Tom. Oh, wow. Well, I was... Oh, no. I'll save this. Okay. For the plane ride. <laughs> okay. On the way home. His name is Tom Hanks, and wait till you see the movie. It is a delight, and he's swell. He is really swell. Tom, wonderful. Well, it's, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Tom Hanks, the movie is splash. Stay tuned, 10, 11, morning. Good business.